Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I would like to share with you two new thrifted furniture makeovers. I've had both of these pieces for quite a while. If you've been following my channel for a while, you probably saw me haul them previously. I found this white cart at a garage sale and then I found this magazine or book holder, I'm not exactly sure which, at the thrift store. And I've loved using them in our home for decoration and for storage, but I felt like it was time to sort of give them a new look and I absolutely love what I was able to do. So the first project I would like to share with you is this bookshelf. I honestly don't know exactly what this piece is, so if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. That would be greatly appreciated. So what I did for this piece was I spray painted it white, and what I planned on using this piece for was to actually organize patterns in my craft room. I am learning to sew, and I love collecting uh, sewing patterns, and so I wanted to have a place to keep them all organized and all um, easily accessible and all together and so I was able to do that using this piece. So right now I'm just adding a coat of white spray paint to it. One of the reasons that I originally bought this piece was because it has storage on both sides and I felt like throughout the years of trying to use this in home decor I struggled with actually being able to utilize both sides. So what I decided to do was to actually put this piece on wheels and I had looked on the internet and looked at different stores and I couldn't find the wheels that I was looking for and then I was cleaning in the garage and I actually found an entire bag of wheels I have no idea what they originally went to but what I did was I removed the pegs that were on the bottom and I don't know if this is the best way to do it but I actually took the wheels and then attached them using hot glue I used a lot of hot glue and I put some hot glue in first then I put the wheel in and I sort of put hot glue around the sides to make sure everything was in place and this piece isn't going to be moving around a lot it's sort of just going to be fairly stationary but I will be moving it occasionally so I figured since it's not something that's going to be constantly moving it would be okay to try the hot glue first if I have to do something again in the future if the wheels start to fall off I will definitely try something else but for now I think that this works and as you can see right here I'm testing it and it seems to be okay so then I started organizing my patterns on my new sewing pattern organizer and I had actually done this previously in our last home I was able to go through and take each pattern put it inside of a zip lock bag and then use a shower curtain hook I think that's what you would call these and I would attach them like that to a shelf that we actually had previously but I kept them all in these baggies with those shower curtain hooks and it was the perfect way to organize them on this piece And here's the finished product. I love how this piece turned out. I love that I'm able to see all of my sewing patterns in one spot. I love that this piece has wheels, which I'm really excited to be able to use. And I love that I can sort of just scroll through them and see what project I'd like to work on on any particular day. I feel like this is the perfect addition to my thrifted craft room and if you haven't seen my thrifted craft room setup series, I will make sure to link that above. But I absolutely love how this turned out. The next piece that I would like to share with you is this cart and I actually found it at a garage sale several years ago and I've loved this piece forever but I just haven't really ever been sure what I want to do with it so I was really excited to finally have some inspiration. The first thing that I needed to do was to tighten some of the screws. It was just sort of wobbly from being moved around a lot and so I just went through and tightened some of the screws. I'm always amazed when I work on a thrifted piece or a garage sale find and I do something as simple as tightening the screws and it makes just a huge difference on the piece. I actually did that on my last video where I did a thrift store makeover and I'll make sure to link that above. Just tightening the screws on the coffee table and end tables that I was working on made such a big difference in the piece so it definitely had the same effect on this piece. I chose to spray paint this piece gold. I love the way that gold looks in our dining room and our living room. We're sort of going for this boho chic kind of vibe and I just love using accents of gold and then different colors along with it, maybe like green or navy. I also think it's funny how you can be inspired to do different projects from other things that you find. I recently found this vintage coffee set at the thrift store and I've been wanting to try to find a place to display the coffee set and to be able to use the coffee set and I had a basket on hand that I found at the thrift store quite a while ago that I realized fit the entire coffee set perfectly 
and that basket actually fits perfectly on the top of this cart so it was just meant to be and so I actually went through and spray painted that basket and it's just the perfect addition to our dining room I am so happy with how this piece turned out. I feel like the gold made such a big difference and I love how I'm able to store my new coffee set on the top of this piece. I was able to spray paint that basket black and I actually put a Dollar Tree placemat in the bottom and it was this like faux marble look and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love that I'm able to have this entire coffee set displayed and the placemat sort of gives it a nice solid surface to sit on. I hope you enjoyed seeing these thrifted makeovers. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving, and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!